Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 4. Last episode we fought Vamp and injected him with this stuff. That should really even the odds. Now you're a mere mortal, like the rest of us. Never. But can you kill this mere mortal? Snake, sorry to have kept you all waiting. You ready for this? Sonny gave me the go-ahead. Snake, this one is mine. You keep those gecko at bay. Okay, it's time for a fight. Now, I'm going to be on the left side of the screen. On the right side of the screen, you'll get to see a fight between Vamp and Raiden. Now, things have changed between them. Raiden has uh, been healed of his injuries, and Vamp has lost the ability to spontaneously heal from crazy amounts of damage because of the, the injection that Snake gave him. Now they're on top of the head of Metal Gear Rex, and the Snake is on the left side, and he has to defend everyone from the Gecko attacking. Now there are two types of Gecko that will attack. The regular ones, which will jump up, jump in there, and start shooting around the machine guns and that, that kind of crap. And then there are the Suicide Gecko, which have bombs attached to them, and they're trying to go in here so they can blow up and kill all of these people. So if you really want to, just sit down and watch the right side of the screen where there's more cinematic actions going on. But we have the railgun that Crying Wolf had when we were fighting her. We uh, killed her and took this weapon and it is a fantastic piece of machinery here because it can take out a gecko. Now it charges up 
before it fires, but you can just basically fire with semi-automatic speed. As soon as you push the button, it'll fire. But when you put it in the first-person view, you have the option to charge the attack, and it does more damage. Now, if you hit a gecko in the proper space with a fully charged railgun blast, then that will kill it in one hit. Of course, it may actually be a little bit quicker for you if you hit the thing like rapid fire. Boom, boom, boom. Of course, you do have to worry about running out of ammunition. Ow. The gecko will not just be coming from in front of you, they will also be coming from behind you. So you gotta be careful about that. Now also remember that the gecko are vulnerable to all the normal kind of stuff that you would do anyway. For example, the RPG or any anti-tank weapons would be also useful against taking out the gecko. But the problem is, at the distance that they're going to be jumping into the room, it may not be so easy for you to hit them at that distance. When they get closer, though, feel free, if you have to. Also, using a machine gun to target their legs and then having them fall and targeting the radome on their skulls is also a useful way of taking them out. Well, it doesn't look like Ryan's doing too great of a job against Vamp. I pulled the face camera off because it ends up staying on even during the cinematic scenes, and I really didn't want Snake to be running around with a face mask on with the stuff that's going to be coming up. So there we have that. Seems like it would have been a better idea to have Raiden take out the Gecko and Snake to take out Vamp. Because, I mean, now that Vamp's regenerative abilities have gone away, Snake did a pretty fantastic job gunning down Vamp a bunch of times in the past few minutes in the last episode. Oh, you gotta take these Gecko out. Be quick about it. There we go. Jeez, Vamp's got a bunch of knives in his gut. Vamp just say kill me? was never an immortal. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nanomachines inside his body. But, after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor, ease my pain. Sonny asked me to tell you something. What is it? I cooked them right. I see. Good for you, Sonny. You finally did it. No, I can't 
Do it, bro. Do it. Oh. No, oh, no, I didn't see that coming. Now you can return to your true self. You can be at peace. Snake. Liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship, unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Uh. Snake. You have been given life so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. What the hell are you doing? Don't do it! Are you crying? For me? 
Come on. Put yourself together. Carry 